here and are uh, pretty excited about these. So let's start with uh, just a quick overview of the two uh, instrument groups. Uh, first, the 200 series. This is a simple, low cost quality instrument. It's available in a single or dual format. Uh, the models are 250 and 260. I'll get into a little bit more of uh, describing the differences between the two. The 300 series is our advanced feature series. Uh, it's uh, up to three channels and uh, employs uh, smart sensors. So a uh, very cool instrument. We'll talk uh, extensively about that as well. So the uh, 250 and 260 are what I'd consider your, uh, your more entry level uh, portables. It's available in pH, uh, electrical conductance and DO. Those would be the single channel uh, formats. The uh, two channel formats would be pH and electrical conductance and pH in dissolved oxygen. On the uh, 300 series, those are uh, models 350, 360, and 380. Uh, those are available in the parameters of pH millivolt, electrical conductance, DO, uh, pH and electrical conductance and pH and DO as well. Uh, the beauty of the 300 series is they are smart sensors, so uh, you can use any combination. Uh, you can have a single channel pH or a uh, triple channel pH. They uh, come with black uh, in black uh, color as and have a, a non slip <laughs> uh, coating, which I'll talk a little bit more about. Uh, jumping back to uh, the 250 and 260 meters, uh, the real big difference here is the 250 has 500 data points, and you have to scroll through those in the memory, whereas the model 260, uh, that has a thousand data points with time and date stamp, so it has a real-time clock in it, and can be downloaded via USB. Uh, GLP compliant and, and great for establishing an audit trail. All the model 300, uh, the 350, 360, 380, they all have the capability of 10,000 data points with time and date stamp and can be downloaded as well. So let's do an overview of the, uh, the 200 series. Uh, again, it's uh, positioned as our entry level, user-friendly, uh, great for education, uh, environmental, uh, chemical and food science, obviously many, many more uh, segments uh, and applications for this instrument. One of the things I really like about this is the, uh, the model 250 and 260 are in the same housing, so they're the same size, but uh, it's about six inches in length and about two and a half inches in width. So you can easily hold that instrument in your hand and reach any of the buttons uh, on the instrument. Uh, with one hand. Our current model 150 and 450, uh, those instruments are over 10 inches in length uh, and you literally have to use two hands to, to hold the meter and, and press any of the uh, keys on the keypad. So the uh, uh, to continue with the different parameters and configurations that are available on the 250 and 260 models, uh, pH millivolt, the electrical conductance. Now that includes conductivity, TDS, salinity, resistivity, and temperature. Uh, DO, P, uh, C, which is pH and the electrical conductance uh, parameters, that's all of those, conductivity, TDS, salinity, and resistivity, and pH and DO versions. 
uh, a two by two LCD with backlit, uh, 0.01 resolution on this instrument, uh, auto cal suite. So it's got auto calibration, auto ranging, auto buffer recognition, and obviously auto uh, temperature compensation. Uh, some of the cool features that we've been trying to design into all of our, our new instruments, starting with the testers, carrying through the portables, uh, is, is the fact that uh, on the display you'll see a battery indicator, uh, you will see a stability indicator. Uh, in this case, on the 200 series, there's also a, a electrode status, which is essentially a, a slope measurement. So it tells you how good the electrode still is. Um, now that carries through from our testers through our new portables. Uh, obviously, the bench tops don't need uh, a battery indicator, but they do have stability indicator and uh, calibration indicators. Uh, two integral uh, electrode holders, one on either side of the uh, instrument. And again, the uh, Model 260 is GLP compliant with time and date stamp and can be downloaded via USB cable. Uh, if you need to establish an audit trail. So let's take a little closer look at the instrument. If you can see, it's got an, a nice large display, so it's easy to read. It's got a backlit display in dim lighting conditions. Uh, the uh, It's got a thermoplastic elastomer uh, coating. So it's a two process. They uh, extrude the plastic housing and then that housing is coated with a, uh, it's actually a Santaprene derivative. So it's uh, it's non-slip, it's rubberized, ad adds a, a, an extra little layer of protection to the instrument. IP67, it's waterproof, uh, large display, ergonomic design. Uh, it's powered by two AA batteries with over uh, 500 hours of use. It's got a cool little, uh, uh, meter stand so you can stand it up and, and view it if you're taking measurements on a tabletop or a lab counter. And here's a, a in-depth look at the actual LCD uh, segments uh, on the top is obviously setup, calibration, measurement, and data, your battery indicator, your measured parameters, uh, the smiley face, that's your stability indicator. When that's blinking, uh, the instrument is still taking measurement. Once that stays solid, uh, that is a stable measurement and can be recorded. Uh, temperature display on the top uh, can be set in either Fahrenheit or uh, centigrade, automatic, or there is a option of manual temperature compensation as well. Measured parameter below that in the large segments and then units right below that. In the far lower left corner is the uh, uh, electrode status indicator, as I mentioned. Uh, really a cool feature on uh, instruments uh, with our PH250 kit starting out at $425. It's probably uh, one of the lower uh, price points that has this kind of capability and accuracy. Uh, again, Greater than 95%, that's a brand new electrode. You'll have both of the segments lit up. Uh, 85 to 95%, you'll have one of the segments. That electrode is still very good. Uh, uh, below 80, 80 to 85%, rather, uh, is still good. So there's no segments left. Uh, once it gets below 80%, uh, that's a pretty good indication that uh, that electrode needs to be cleaned and recalibrated, and if it's been poisoned, then unfortunately it's gonna have to be replaced. So the uh, keypad on this instrument, nine buttons, uh, very uh, intuitive, very easy to use. Uh, you're on and off button in the lower right corner, uh, then moving all the way across to the top, separate calibration uh, button, measurement mode, this also acts as an escape key if you're in calibration. Uh, data, setup button, uh, mode button, and then the enter button is kind of key because that confirms any cal values 
or settings or settings that are made in setup mode also uh, for storing data as well. So very easy, very simple key uh, pad, very easy to use. So next, let's take a look real quickly at the uh, uh, electrodes and accessories. Uh, we sell, uh, Oakton has for years sold uh, different formats of uh, our uh, electrochemistry products, and we continue to do that. The kit format is going to be the big focus. Um, and essentially what that is, is that uh, uh, the kit includes the meter, the batteries, the sensor, the calibration solutions, and a, uh, a durable plastic case. So, uh, but we do uh, also feature the a la carte, so you can buy a, a meter separately uh, or and a sensor separately, uh, obviously replacement parts as well. But uh, if you don't want the case and don't prefer the kit format. So first, let's start with uh, the pH electrode. Uh, this is a double junction, all in one uh, pH electrode uh, available in a one meter or a two meter cable. Uh, again, all in one, it's going to have two connect in the BNC for the pH measurement and a 2.5 millimeter audio plug for the temperature sensor. For our conductivity cell, this is a uh, K equals one cell. Uh, it's a two band cell, so it's got good accuracy, uh, one meter cable on that. And then for our DO, it's a galvanic sensor. One of the cool things about uh, this particular sensor is it's got a replacement DO tip, uh, as you can see in the right middle of this slide. Uh, so once the uh, DO cartridge uh, starts to go bad, and you'll notice that by uh, erratic readings or drifting readings, uh, it can be easily replaced. And uh, once it's replaced, you recalibrate to 100% saturation, and the uh, the electrodes are ready to go. Now the DO uh, electrode is available in a two and a five meter uh, cable length. Uh, also, we have uh, our standard suit of uh, suite of uh, solutions for pH, it's four, seven, and 10 pH buffers. For conductivity, it's going to be 84, 14, 13, uh, microsemen, 12.88 uh, millisemen, and 111.80 uh, millisemen for the high end uh, conductivity values. Then here's your uh, USB cable for download, uh, essential for the 260 meter. So next I'd like to talk about the uh, uh, kit configurations for the 200 series uh, pH and millivolt includes either a 250 or 260 meter. Uh, the all-in-one double junction pH electrode, four, seven and 10 pH buffers two AA batteries and a durable case. The electrical conductance, now that's a multi-parameter, but they're all based on uh, well, conductivity except uh, resistivity, which is inverse. Uh, conductivity, TDS is total dissolved solids, salinity and resistivity. Again, this kit is gonna include either a 250 or a 260 meter a K equals one uh, conductivity cell, your conductivity standards, uh, two AA batteries, and the case. Next is the uh, galvanic DO. And this is, again, the, the meter, either a 250 or 260, the galvanic probe with a two meter cable. A five meter uh, cable is also available, uh, the batteries and the case. Now, here's the, those are the single channel offerings uh, in a kit format. Here's the dual channel offerings, uh, pH and electrical conductance. Uh, again, the 250 and 260 meters, the electrodes, the calibration solutions, uh, batteries, and the case. And the 
uh, PD version, which is pH and dissolved oxygen. Again, the same kit format, either a 250 or 260 meter, the all-in-one uh, double junction pH electrode, the galvanic DO probe, uh, batteries, and a case. So to, to summarize the, uh, the 200 series, again, the model 250 and model 260, the biggest difference uh, that I want you to take away is that the uh, model 250 has uh, 500 data points that it can store, but you have to scroll through those on the instrument itself. The model 260 has a thousand data points, which can be downloaded uh, to an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, it's actually downloaded as a CSV format, but you save it uh, in Excel as an Excel workbook, and then you can manipulate it later uh, for analysis. So quick uh, summary of the feature set on the 200 series IP67, water and dust proof, uh, the non-slip black meter housing, uh, obviously hard to explain over a, uh, a team's presentation, but uh, it's really cool and really works. I've, you know, dropped it in uh, water and picked it up in uh, uh, non-slip indeed. Uh, a two by two uh, uh, display uh, with LED, with white uh, light LED backlighting, uh, built-in electron holders, one on either side of the instrument, uh, integrated uh, foldable meter stand, PC or printer communication via USB cable, uh, and that's on the model 260 only. Uh, I talked about the, uh, the auto suite, auto uh, stability, auto hold, uh, battery indicator, uh, electrode status indicator. Um, the 260, again, with the real-time clock and time and date stamp, that is GLP compliant. Again, if your, your customer needs to establish an audit trail, uh, that is the instrument to sell them to. Then I would consider the 250 more the entry level. The 260 is, is an enhanced uh, version of that. Three-year warranty on the uh, instrument and... Uh, six months on the electrodes. So I wanted to, uh, now I will pick up the uh, discussion on the, the new 300 uh, smart portables, uh, super cool instrument. Uh, this is Oakton's real uh, first offering of smart sensors. Essentially what a smart sensor is, is it's a digital sensor whereas the, uh, the 200 series, those still use the older technology of analog. Uh, this is truly a, uh, a 21st century instrument with the uh, digital input and output on the meter and sensor. So this is our advanced offering with smart sensors uh, available, as I mentioned, in a single, double, or triple channel configuration. Uh, again, these can be used in, in most any segment, uh, ideal for education, environmental, chemical, or food, uh, food science. But anywhere uh, pH is measured, uh, both of these portables could be used. And pH is uh, the second most measured parameter behind temperature. So uh, you'll find them everywhere, you know, from water and wastewater plants to food processing plants to uh, environmental applications, obviously. So to go through the configurations on the new 300 series meters, uh, again, the, uh, the single channel is our model 350, the dual channel is our model 360, and the triple channel is our model 380. They're available in pH millivolt, uh, the electrical conductance, Again, conductivity, TDS, salinity, resistivity, uh, a luminescence DO. This is the new optical or luminescence DO technology. Uh, some people love it. Uh, some people actually love the old galvanic or polographic uh, technologies. 
Uh, also available in a PC. Again, that's pH and the electrical conductance. So that's a dual channel. And PD, pH and uh, dissolved oxygen. In this case, uh, it's a luminescence uh, sensor. We'll talk a little bit more about that. And then finally, uh, uh, the third uh, three channel version is pH, electrical conductance, and dissolved oxygen. One of the, the beautiful things about uh, uh, the smart sensors is that we can use any uh, configuration. If, if your customer wants three pH electrodes uh, to measure, we can sell them, you know, the, the three channel instrument, the 380 meter and three pH or any combination, two pH and a DO. Uh, yeah, use your imagination. Any, the whole point there is that uh, really good uh, flexibility. Uh, large L LCD, and this is actually a thin film uh, color display. So these are some of the best displays being used on instrumentations. Uh, it's three and a half inches by two inches, I believe. Uh, super high resolution, does really well in a dark environment, obviously, but does really well in a sun bleached environment. Uh, I compared this to several other of our competitors meters and you could barely read their instruments in the direct sun, whereas this instrument came out nearly crystal clear. So displays do matter and, and this has one of the best on the market. Simple, uh, easy to use. It's got the auto suite, uh, integrated uh, electrode holders. Again, one on either side of the meter. Um, 10,000 data point memory with time and date stamp uh, can be downloaded via a USB port. Uh, and again, it's going to be that CSV format, which uh, you can drop into an Excel spreadsheet, save that workbook and then it's Excel and, and the data can be manipulated. GLP compliant, real-time clock uh, on the uh, 300 series instruments. So as I mentioned, these are uh, smart portables. Uh, so what's the big deal about uh, a smart portable and a smart sensor? Uh, the, the deal is, is that each of the sensor heads uh, actually contains a, a PCB board. Uh, that stores data for that sensor. So it'll store, obviously, if you know it's a pH sensor, its serial number or uh, a sensor ID, uh, calibration data, and setup information for each sensor. And it holds that in memory. So whenever it's plugged into an instrument, that immediately uh, the, the meter and the sensor communicate with each other and uh, the meter knows exactly what sen the sensor is and uh, all the setup data and calibration data. So next, let's take a look real quickly here at the uh, uh, sensors for our new smart uh, instruments. Uh, some really cool features on these. Uh, you'll notice at the top of the sensors, you'll see a color-coded uh, relief strain. So anything that's blue is pH. Any that are red are electrical conductance or conductivity, and the green indicates a luminescence DO. Now, uh, these are, uh, when I call it a sensor head, I'm talking about the actual top, the electronics for the sensor. And uh, so the pH obviously has the sensor head and then a pH cartridge. The electrical conductance has a sensor head. And uh, in this case, this is a four band or four cell uh, conductivity cell, uh, very high accuracy, great stability, uh, can measure anything from ultra pure water all the way up to uh, uh, salt water. And then finally, the luminescence, the uh, uh, luminescence DO, it's just replacement of the actual membrane cap. You'll normally get one to two years out of the cap. Um, and obviously these are, are sensor specific. You can't buy another brand and uh, put that on uh, this DO sensor. 
uh, it has to be our uh, replacement cap. The uh, final thing I wanted to mention about the uh, the new smart sensors is the uh, you'll see a, a, a blue light. So this is your stability indicator on the sensor itself. While that is flashing, uh, the sensor is still taking a reading. Once that becomes uh, lit, constantly lit, uh, that indicates that it has a stable reading and uh, you're ready to go. So let's talk a little bit about the, the kit formats. Obviously, this uh, uh, 300 series has uh, as much flexibility as any instrument out on the market as far as the possible combinations you can have. Uh, uh, our standard, what we're going to offer to the marketplace is the model 350. Again, that's the single channel. Uh, 350PH would include the 350 meter, the all-in-one double junction electrode, uh, the buffers for calibration, uh, and the 300 series uses four AA batteries, and then uh, also the plastic case as well. The second format, uh, kit format, is uh, for electrical conductance. Again, this is going to be the single channel 350 meter. Uh, the four band uh, K equals one conductivity cell. Again, that's a high accuracy, uh, very stable conductivity cell uh, used in a variety of applications. The conductivity standards, batteries and case. Next is the uh, single channel would be the 350 uh, DO version. Uh, this again is an luminescence or optical DO probe uh, with a two meter cable. Uh, we do have a five meter cable available, and I should have stated that on the uh, uh, electrodes that all of the 300 electrodes are available in either a two meter or a five meter cable. The two meter cable obviously is standard. The five meter cable would be uh, uh, an additional separate order or a special order. So to look at uh, the uh, two channel versions, uh, I listed the PC, which is pH and the electrical conductance uh, parameters. This is the 360 uh, meter uh, with both the all in one pH electrode and the four band uh, conductivity cell and the uh, calibration solutions, the pH buffers and the conductivity standards, batteries and case. We also are going to offer a PD version, which is the pH and uh, dissolved oxygen. Uh, same situation there. It'll be the 360 meter, the uh, all-in-one double junction pH electrode and pH buffers for calibration. But in this case, it'll have the uh, optical DO uh, sensor, a two meter cable um, included and the uh, 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 stainless steel uh, electrode weight. So if you're going down to measure, uh, you know, uh, instead of just a surface measurement, you want to go to a couple feet down, that it comes with a uh, stainless steel uh, cap that screws on the end of the DO sensor to weight down that sensor. And then finally, the, the triple channel. Uh, these are all going to be our, our standard stocked instrument kits. Uh, but again, uh, we are going to offer these a la carte as well. So you can buy uh, a single, double or triple channel instrument and match whichever uh, sensors and calibration solutions you need. So last one is PCD. This is pH, electrical conductance and dissolved oxygen. Oh, here's my first typo. That should be a 380 meter, the double junction pH electrode the four cell conductivity cell and uh, boy, I messed that up too. optical DO probe uh, with two uh, meter cable. So next, let's take a look at uh, this gives you a, a better view of the uh, the screen on the 300 series instruments. As you can tell, it's color. Uh, it's got the, the blue parameter indicating pH, the red uh, con parameter uh, indicating conductivity and the green 
uh, DO, uh, which uh, is a cool feature in the sense that uh, you can quickly recognize what's connected. Uh, again, I did the, the three channel version here so you could see uh, that it's easily read even with three sensors hooked up to it. Um, now this instrument is also, uh, you probably can't see as well, the time and date stamp is at the very top line. Uh, and then uh, uh, down uh, output uh, uh, icons as well as uh, battery uh, status. And then below that is temperature, relative humidity, barometric pressure, uh, and then time and date stamps are actually right above that. Now this is a, a to the right on this slide is the actual sensor information uh, from one of the meters. Again, here's your time and date stamp, your print icon, uh, USB battery uh, indicator. This is channel one, specifically it's a pH electrode. Uh, it gives you the sensor status, the uh, measured slope, and offset. Uh, so slope is an indication of the current condition of the sensor, pH sensor. Uh, so anything, as I mentioned before, uh, above 90 is excellent. Uh, that 80 to 90 range is probably still usable, but below 80% uh, slope. Uh, you're you're going to have drifting and erratic readings. Offset is, uh, and this is 1.1 uh, millivolt, is unbelievably good. Offset is the value from zero uh, when the electrode is initially new. So a perfect electrode would be zero millivolts uh, in a pH 7 buffer. Now, if... Uh, Anything actually plus or minus 15 millivolts is, is good, but anything under uh, 5 millivolts is, is fantastic. Now you see your time and date stamps, uh, the calibration buffer is used, the actual millivolt value of the buffer and the temperature, and then uh, slope on the far right of that uh, output uh, picture, um, which again, this is this is near perfect uh, as far as electrode goes. Then to summarize uh, the 300 series, our new uh, smart portables, uh, the uh, uh, thin film uh, color uh, display, again, three and a half inch by two inch, uh, very easy to read in uh, low light situations, uh, excellent in uh, sun bleached situations. Easy connection of our sensors. The uh, obviously the the beauty of the smart sensor is that once you plug it into the meter, the meter knows exactly what's what it's talking to, and uh, the last time it was uh, calibrated. Uh, easy to transfer data via USB cable to an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, coming next year, we're going to do uh, a upgraded 300 uh, series meter with Wi-Fi and uh, uh, additional like uh, so Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability. Uh, all the sensors on the smart uh, sensors are available with five meter cables, uh, auto recognition, as I mentioned, uh, data format, as I mentioned, IP67 uh, shock resistant, uh, and a three year warranty on these meters as well. And also, uh, it's going to be a six months warranty on the sensors for this group. So that's uh, my presentation on the two and 300 series uh, uh, meters. Uh, I'd like to open it up for uh, questions at this time. Marv, can you Marv, tell us what the lead time is on the meters? I'm sorry? The lead time on the meters? Yeah, most of the meters are in stock. 
uh, if it, it was a non-stocked uh, product, then uh, it would probably be two to four weeks lead time. Risa, were you able to see the, the presentation all right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It looked great. Okay. Good, good, good. Well, so hopefully I haven't put everybody to sleep and uh Hey Marv, uh one other question. The standards that come with the uh the kits, can those be bought separately? Yeah, there there are we do offer the uh kit replacements. But the, the beautiful thing about uh, uh, calibration solutions and, you know, at uh, uh, Oakton, we try and keep uh, things as, as simple as possible. So if it, say, for example, pH buffers, it's 4, 7, and 10 are our primary uh, buffer sets. Now you can buy the uh, 200 series, for example, and the 300 series, for that matter come with uh, 60 mils of each included in the kit but you can go and purchase uh you know a 500 mil bottle of four seven and ten buffers uh to calibrate the instrument as well so uh we try to keep that uh that continuity there uh, now you can buy the little 60 mil bottles as well but we also also offer our standard uh, oakton and oakton traceable our high accuracy buffers uh, in 500 mils, one liter, and 3.8 liter. Now on the conductivity uh, side of things, same uh, same situation. The uh, conductivity standards that are going to be automatically recognized by these instruments is going to be 84 microsiemens, 14, 13, uh, 12. Uh, 0.88 millisiemens, and then the high end is 111.80 millisiemens. Now those are again come in, you know, 60 mil, so uh, bottles with the kits. But we also offer the uh, 500 mil uh, uh, standard uh, conductivity standards as well. And again, those can be uh, in the uh, standard Oakton brand or the Oakton traceable brand, those uh, 500 uh, milliliter bottles. Okay, awesome. Also, I know you probably mentioned this, but can you tell me what the warranty is on both of those uh, series? Yeah, so both the two and 300, the meter is a three year warranty. Um, and then the sensors are six months. Now, uh, you know, the uh, the pH sensor is a double junction sensor with built in temperature. Uh, this is a super robust uh, pH sensor. Uh, you're going to get a year out of that. Uh, same would hold for uh, the DO. The DO has uh, a replacement uh, tip on it. Uh, for anybody who's done extensive DO measurements, uh, one of the old complaints of polographic or galvanic sensors is that you constantly had to scrape the anode of that sensor uh, because it would plate uh, pretty much no matter what you were measuring. If it was raw effluent at a, at a sewage plant or if it was uh, clean water, uh, the anode would still uh you know, polarize and plate. So this, the new uh, replaceable DO tip takes, you know, membranes and electrolytes out of the equation. Uh, and that where I was going with that was that that tip should last you a year as well. Even if you were measuring uh, a raw effluent at, at, say, for example, a wastewater plant, uh, which normally can get poisoned in, you know, three to six months, uh, we think it'll uh, go as far as six to 12 months uh, on probably one of the harshest environments it's going to see. Then the uh, the conductivity. Uh, now, our warranty is uh, six months, but 
uh, guaranteed those sensors are going to last much longer than that. There's no uh, electrolyte involved. There's no plating involved uh, in either the two or the four band uh, conductivity cells. The conductivity cell is going to last you years. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Any other questions? Is there uh, any specific area you'd like me to recover that I um, might have covered too fast? Okay. The uh, again, so we offer uh, the kit uh, format for uh, all the different parameters. Uh, you know the the 250 and the 260 series. That's going to be your your entry level uh, kits. Uh, again, can be purchased a la carte as well. We're offering you know the the all in one double junction replacement electrode, the conductivity cell, the uh, replacement DO cell uh, electrode rather, uh, the replacement DO tip. Um, the PC or printer cables. Uh, one of the things I'm going to expand on is adding uh, some lower cost uh, single and, junction and double junction uh, pH electrodes for the future. Um, we try and uh, make it as easy as possible for the customer to uh, uh, have a usable instrument and uh, be able to acquire replacement uh, sensors and solutions uh, as easy as possible. Make that as easy as possible. This is Paula from Midland Scientific. Um, thank you, Mar, for the presentation. You gave a lot of great information. Um, thank you, everyone, for attending as well. We will be sending out a recording of this presentation along with um, all the slides for um, your review.